What's up guys, it's Bloxus back here from the video of Picture from Bloxus here and in this video I'll be showing you guys how to make a working shop GUI. So bam. So as you can see here, I have all the frames in the GUI. So we're just simply gonna restart everything over real quick so let me just go over and delete this okay so what you want to do first is go over and start a GUI and add a screen GUI and with the screen GUI you're going to inside it you're just going to rename it shop I want to rename it shop and you're going to add in inside a frame which is going to be like this so let's just go over and select that frame and let's just resize it to the size we want and I want to size something like this okay and after we're gonna add a text button and we're actually gonna put this somewhere here and now I just start making everything look a bit better so I'm gonna go here search text I'm gonna rename this to shop and after I'll go over and change the text color to let's say white and let me go over and try to get the background color to change to something like blue or light blue actually something like this looks fine so what we're going to do now is I'm going to go over and find text scaled which is somewhere here text scaled we're going to like that and it's going to scale up with the right size so that looks really good but not good enough so we're going to go over to the font from source saw to um uh bold okay here and line height is fine and i think that's pretty much it let's just actually resize the button something more like this and it has a outline so I want to change that we, we, I think I prefer it without outline if you like it with outline you can just let it with outline so I want to change the border pixel size to zero and yes perfect so what we're gonna do is I want to change this to a little like that I'm gonna add a local script okay so now let's just start scripting so before we start scripting I want to go over and change the frame name to just shop let's say shop frame and now we're going to go over scripting so we're going to do script dot dot sorry dot parent double dot connect nope 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 mouse button one down so we're gonna call the same as but no one down that will not connect function and we're gonna get rid of that and add like that okay so bam so here what we're gonna do is we just said that whenever you click on the uh, text button okay so we just called it the click function okay so what we're gonna do after we're gonna say script dot parent dot parent so we're gonna call the parent of the script which is the text button dot parent we're going to call another parent which is going to be the shop GUI okay so what we're going to do after is a dot shop frame dot visible equals true so here we said that whenever we click the parent of the script which is the text button and the parent of the text button which is the shop and after from the shop we access the shop frame and we access the visibility of the shop frame and we say it is equal to visible whenever we click on that button okay so right now i'll just go over and change the shop frame's colors so we're going to put that something like that and actually let's go over to that and put something like that okay let's go over and add text label and everything so everything looks good like i showed you in the intro here so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go 
over kind of background transparency and put it to one and after I'll find the text properties and I'll go over and change the color to white and the third, um, after what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and click text scale to make that and I want to change the font so I'm going to over and first change the text itself to shop all caps I think uh, I, I like it, all caps and I'm going to go over and find the font and change it to bold here we've got a nice shop text which looks bold and all good it looks or like a great UI already okay so here we got nice looking UI so what we're gonna do now is go over in the shop frame and simply uh, get rid of the outline because I do not like outlines for those kind of UIs okay perfect okay to prevent any errors I have added a second frame here so it looks nice so you need to add that second frame right there or it will not work okay so because the script access the parent accesses the it does access ac access the parent a tw uh, three times because of that frame so it's script the parent the parent the parent if you only have one frame then it will only be script dot parent dot parent okay so please add this frame as well and in this frame add a text button which is going to be this okay so again let me do this all again for you let me delete this I just hop over and just drag this like that and delete that okay so what we're going to do here is add another frame take that frame put it like this something like this okay like that let's say okay here and in this frame we're going to add a text button Oops, actually, let me just go over and undo everything. And undo, okay. So we got, we had those two things that we did earlier. So what you have to do is only, all you need to do is literally add a frame here, which is going to add a frame, okay. So we did that text shop, we drag it in the frame, okay. So we're going to put that frame, position it right here. And after you make a text button, and position it here okay and that text button will have a local script which will make it close and uh, right now i'll show you the script but again add a text button which simply is an x use the text button and change the background color and change the text to x and make it bold and make it scale to fit so it looks like this and after we have the script which i will show you guys right now how to do it so first of all, uh, that, that's me in the future, and by the way, uh, I, I did a little error here, so I, I, it was like that, and it actually needs to be like that, so just so just correct yourself like that, okay? So that's a little, little error, I was typing maybe, maybe a bit too fast. So we were at the nice looking UI, so here I have a test bit with the UI, and I've made that little X button, which is the close button. So we added a script and now I'm adding a local script. I just added a local script to it and let's start scripting. So here what we're gonna do is we're gonna say script dot parent dot um let's do okay dot mouse but one button down double dot connect function not function function and bam okay this time I spell it right here and what we're gonna do we're gonna do script dot parent sorry dot parent dot parent dot visible equals false so here we go so we're gonna say the script the parent of the script access to the parent of the script but not we want actually access to the parent of the script again dot parent here dot visible that means this one will not be visible anymore okay so let's I guess check it out and I hope it's gonna be working maybe have this mirrors and I will double check if I did so it should be working 
and yes guys it is working here we got an opening and closing working UI of the shop so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and hit that bell if you did so you know whenever tutorials will go out and I'm really excited as well because my monetization is coming soon and I'm almost I'm a finger away from hitting 4,000 hours watched which is my dream so thank you for you all to make it possible and I really really appreciate it so I guess see you after the next one